Ooh, and the ranch. That's blue cheese. That is Miss Mold right there. Ah! Oh my God, it's spilling. Ah! Guys, this steakhouse has the longest horns I've ever seen. <laughs> so today I am taste testing Longhorn Steakhouse for the first time on this channel. Now I have been to Longhorns a few times throughout my life, but I've only ever had like the burger, I think, and it was a while ago. So technically this is my first time trying like the whole menu. Okay, well not the whole menu, I got Tons of entrees, tons of appetizers, tons of desserts, but the menu is pretty big and there's a lot of steaks. Couldn't afford all those steaks. Let's be honest, <laughs> there's so many steaks and they're so pricey. But I did get one steak. It may or may not be the cheapest steak <laughs> on the menu, but it's fine. I got tons of like chicken and ribs and burgers and chicken sandwiches and fries and sides. It's gonna be a huge taste test. So grab a meal. Eat along with me. I'm gonna taste everything, give you my honest opinion, rate it all from one to 10, and let you know what's good at Longhorn Steakhouse. Let's talk about the items I got. So I got the crispy buttermilk chicken sandwich, french fries, a half pound steakhouse cheeseburger, mashed potatoes, Parmesan crusted chicken, seasoned rice, hand breaded chicken tenders, mixed green salad, baby back ribs, a Caesar salad, a renegade sirloin, which is the steak, okay? It was the cheapest one, $13. Steakhouse mac and cheese, spicy chicken bites, firecracker chicken wraps, and then desserts, I got a cheesecake. It's called the cheesecake, epic. <laughs> and a strawberry shortcake dessert. So yeah, it's a lot of food to try. I'm ready. But first guys, the other day I made the most amazing chickpea bowl. It was incredible. Here's that footage right now. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Today, I'm making this amazing Greek goddess bulgur bowl. I've had it before. It's genuinely so delicious, I'm so hyped. So if you haven't heard of HelloFresh, basically they're a meal kit delivery service. You pick your meals online or on the app and they send the ingredients and the recipes straight to your door. It makes life so easy. I've been using them for like years, legit years now. <laughs> and first of all, always delicious, every single meal, and I'm not exaggerating. And it's just, it has made my life so much more simple. I just don't have to think about meal planning or grocery shopping. And the holidays are coming up, so you need time to think about those days and less time thinking about the meals around those days. HelloFresh takes care of all that thinking for you. Cozy up with some seasonal favorites like cowboy turkey and black bean chili or sweet corn and green pepper chowder, delicious. And you can save money with HelloFresh. It's cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than eating out, like takeout. Now let's be real, all of their meals are fast and simple, but they have even quicker and easier options like their 20 minute meals and their easy cleanup meals, which is just chef's kiss. Makes life even easier, girl. They have over 35 weekly recipes, so nothing ever gets old. There's always something new to try, and you can easily customize your meals by swapping proteins, switching sides, upgrading to choice proteins, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. And guys, HelloFresh is always fresh. The ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than seven days, so it's like legit. Hello, fresh, hello, it's fresh. They also have kid-friendly recipes that are perfect for picky eaters. So if some of your kids are picky eaters, there are options for you. There's also a HelloFresh market with things like breakfast, charcuterie boards, desserts, just extra little things that you might need around the house, in the pantry. And HelloFresh can always work with your schedule. It's so easy to change your uh, delivery date, your address, anything like that. It's just a click away, super simple. So guys, go get some HelloFresh. I know you're interested, try it out. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 60TIMMY for 60% 60 off plus free shipping. 60% guys. Okay, let's cook these bowls guys. Okay, so we have feta cheese, love that. We have some cherry tomatoes, chickpeas, Harissa powder, an onion, bulgur, which is like a wheat, hummus, an adorable cucumber, dill, Greek vinaigrette, delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna drain and rinse my chickpeas and then chop up some of my onion. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut my onion up into thin slices. Okay, perfect, so now I'm gonna take a baking sheet. I'm going to add most of my onion, just like that, and my chickpeas. I'm gonna add some olive oil, just drizzle that on, and some salt, and some of my harissa powder. Just sprinkle that on, it'll give it tons of flavor, yes. 
and I'm just gonna mix this all up with my hands. Gorgeous! I'm gonna pop this into the oven for about 20 minutes. And now I'm gonna prepare my bulgur. I'm just gonna take this cute little pot, isn't it cute? <laughs> I'm gonna add my bulgur wheat and a cup of water, some of the harissa powder, just like that, perfect. And I'm gonna cook this until the water has absorbed and the bulgur is tender. Now it's time to make my little salad. So I'm going to add some of the onions to this bowl. I'm gonna chop up my cucumber into little moon shapes. Toss that into the bowl too. And I'm gonna half my cherry tomatoes, just like that. Gorgeous! Aren't those so bright and pretty? And hello, they're fresh. Put those into the bowl too. And now I'm just gonna chop up some dill. Okay, that looks gorgeous. Gonna toss that into the bowl too. And now to finish off the salad, I'm gonna add half of my Greek vinaigrette. Okay. And then half of the feta and some salt and pepper. It smells so good, like I'm salivating. Okay, besties, it is time to put the bowl together. So we have the bulgur here. I'm gonna add my Greek dressing straight into it. It's gonna have so much flavor, guys. Get that all mixed in. Okay, so I'm gonna add half of this right here and then half of my gorgeous chickpeas and onions and then half of my salad. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm gonna have my hummus on the side and then I'm gonna add some extra feta. And that's it, it's done. It's one of my favorites. It has so much flavor. The salad tastes so refreshing. It's ridiculous, like ridiculous. It tastes better than a restaurant. I'm not joking. So guys, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 60TIMMY for 60% 60 off plus free shipping. Get some delicious meals. Mm. Okay, so let's unbox the food from the house of the steak and the long horns. Okay, so we've got the mac and cheese. Ooh, oh, that looks so good. The breadcrumbs looks very like fresh. It smells like baked potato soup for some reason, but it smells good. <laughs> and then we have um, some stuff. We have some croutons for the salads. We have a lot of sauce, like barbecue sauce, we have mayonnaise, ketchup, okay. Mr. Longhorn took care of me. We love that. Oh, and we have bread. This is Longhorn's bread. Have I tried it before? I'm not sure, but it's a whole loaf. I can make like a good sandwich out of this. I'll just take a tiny little bite just to see how it tastes. Hmm, bread. <laughs> not amazing. It is still warm. It's, hello. <laughs> Hi. Is this Mr. Yeast? I've heard about you. Um, it's fine. I've had better appetizer bread, but it's free, so I can't complain, right? I'm gonna save that for a Sandy. And then we have the firecracker chicken appetizer wrap thingies. Ooh, pretty good portion. I think there's four of them cut in half. Very nice. They're on a bed of lettuce, a lot of lettuce, and cucumbers and tomatoes. So it's like a side salad underneath them. <laughs> and then we have um, some sort of sauce. It looks great. And then, oh, this is the, ah! Things are falling, there's just so many containers. Um, so this is the seasoned rice and the Parmesan crusted chicken. Oh my God, this looks really yummy. Look at that chicken. It's totally covered in cheese, like dripping in cheese. Wow. And the rice looks fine. <laughs> it looks like Zatarans or something, I don't know. <laughs> but um, wow, and I love the container. Very cute, it keeps the side totally separate. So that's good. And now we have the ribs. Now this is half a rack. Um, that's a big half a rack. Oh my goodness. That's huge. I'm very impressed with the size. Wow, looks very saucy, looks great. I love ribs so much. So I'm so pumped to just devour these bones. And then we got the burger with a side of mashed potatoes. Ah, okay. Burger looks nice. They didn't keep the um, toppings separate, so it might be just like a bit soggy, but we'll see. Looks good, typical burger and the potatoes look very good. They have some melted butter here in the corner. Can you see it right there? Very nice. Looks fantastic. 
And then we have the chicken sandwich. Wow, this one looks good. That chicken filet looks quite crispy. Ooh, it smells good too. Look at that. That looks so crispy. I'm kind of shooketh. And we have the fries here. Goodness gracious. And then we have the two side salads, Caesar and mixed green, which is like a house salad, right? Ugh, I got it with ranch, of course. <gasps> That's a big container of dressing. Oh, I'm impressed. You, <laughs> you guys know I like my salad dripping in ranch, right? And we have croutons for each. Um, this seems to have cheese, uh, cucumbers, and tomatoes on top. Okay, good enough. And then the Caesar one is just um, some Parmesan shavings and a big thing of Caesar dressing. Yes, yes, ma'am. I'm going to keep these lids because I have to use them to mix up my salads. That's the right way to do it, guys. Hello. And then we have the desserts. Oh, my goodness. So this is called the cheesecake. Now, the shape makes it look so much more delicious and appetizing than your typical cheesecake, okay? Look at the shape. Oh, it's like a whole mini cheesecake. That is gorgeous. I'm sorry. Like, it's stunning. That's a supermodel. It's so pretty. It looks so scrumptious. You guys know cheesecake is, I think, my favorite food in the world, besides nachos. And any kind of topped fries or tots. So any... <laughs> Any carb with like toppings, that's my favorite food, but also cheesecake. Okay, and, and then this is the um, strawberry shortcake type of dessert. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Wow. This looks really delicious too. Very pretty to look at. It's a beautiful slice, like perfectly cut. And we have some strawberry sauce. Um, and then, goodness gracious, the table's getting full. We have the... Um, spicy chicken bites. This is an appetizer. Oh yeah, I love anything spicy. This looks really good. It's like boneless wings kind of, or like popcorn chicken. Okay, yes. Smells sweet and sour, incredible. I'm so hyped for this taste test guys, like everything's looking really good, including me. And then we have the um, chicken wings. I got ranch and it said a blue cheese, of course. So these are the only wings that they have, the only flavor, and they're an appetizer. Very nice, look very crispy. We have some, I think, buffalo sauce, not sure though, and some ranch, I think. Yay. And then we have my chicken tendies. Very cute, they look good. Um, they're kind of small, but there's a lot of them, so that's good, okay. And then, Last but not least, we have my steak, which is the only thing in the container. It's so tiny. Um, am I missing any sides? I don't think I am. I think that's everything. Yeah, um, the salads go with these two, so that's why they don't have the sides with them. Okay, so this is the steak. I'm going to try this first because steaks get really very chewy and gross when they get, like, lukewarm. So this is still hot. I am going to set up the food, get my thumbnail, and then we'll start taste testing everything. But first guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. It's a great time here. If you like food, I think you'll like me, hopefully. Oh, hey. Wait, did I? I'm not sure. Ugh, go eat. Okay, so first things first, let's try the steak. So this is a sirloin, I think. I don't know much about steaks, but um, if you do tell me, is a sirloin like a trashy steak? Cause it was the cheapest, but let's see. Very pumped. Okay. That's how it looks inside. Focus, Ariana. Thank you. Gorgeous. Chewy. But good flavor. Mmm. There's like a piece of one second. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Let me just say the flavor. Girlie. 
Mm, this piece is much better. Mmm. 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 Listen, I'm not even a big steak person, but this is really, really, really good. Wow. Mmm. And this is the cheapest one? So, I got it medium well. I know that a lot of people think that's basically burnt, but that's how I prefer steak. I have tried rare, medium rare, all that. I don't like it. I don't like the taste of the raw-ish meat. It's just too irony for me. <laughs> but this one, they cooked it to perfection. Um, the first bite was chewy, but it was just because it had like a tendon or something in it. You know, it had like a, like a little piece of cartilage in it. But the other bites were perfection. It had so much flavor, like definitely a lot of salt um, and some seasonings. I'm not sure which seasonings, but it had a pow of salty, delicious flavor that I genuinely loved. Longhorn Steakhouse, your steak is great. I'm giving the steak a nine out of 10. Great start. Okay, so next up, let's try the Parmesan crusted chicken and the rice, okay? So let's first try the seasoned rice. It's barely seasoned queen. It does taste seasoned, but it mostly just tastes like red pepper, which I'm not the biggest bell pepper person. I'm into more of like the spicy peppers. So it's a very strong red pepper flavor. And then there's a slight garlickiness, but not much else. It needs salt. And also the rice itself tastes a little processed. It tastes kind of like those um, 90 second rice packets right? Just very mediocre, kind of store-bought and not very steakhouse-y. I'm giving the seasoned rice, I think, a four out of 10. Not horrible, but not good. Oh, wait, prices, guys, prices. So I got most of these items off of the lunch menu, which made things a lot cheaper. It was great. So the steak was only $13 and it came with um, a side, one of these sides. So I feel like for a steak, that's very cheap. Now it is small, but still very cheap. And the Parmesan crusted chicken was $13.79 with the side. Not bad, it's a big piece of chicken right there. And just to go through them quickly, the tenders were $12.99, the burger was $9.99, the crispy chicken sandwich was $8.99, that's a great price. Uh, the ribs were $16.49, the spicy chicken bites were $6.49. The firecracker chicken wraps were $11.49. And the desserts were each around $9 to $10. So there you go, prices. Okay, let's try this Parmesan crusted chicken. I'm so hyped for it. I love cheese, I love chicken. <laughs> Give it to me now. Okay, that's my bite. Let's try it. There's a sauce on it that's like mind blowing. I'm shaking. I'm shaking, guys. Oh my God, give it to me now. Mm. I have so many things to eat, but if I didn't, I would devour this in two seconds right now. One more bite. Oh my God. I'm not being dramatic. This is literally one of the best things I've ever had in my life. <laughs> mm. That is the best restaurant chicken I've had in my entire life. And I'm not exaggerating. I have no words. I have no words. First of all, the chicken itself is perfectly cooked, very juicy. Now, 
there's a sauce on this that is so creamy and buttery and Parmesan-y. Like the Parmesan flavor is so strong. It's so sharp. It's a punch of flavor. And it tastes kind of garlicky. And then there's this like crust of Parmesan cheese on top of the sauce. It like turns into like a shell. I can't describe how amazing this is. It is one of the best things I've had on this channel in my whole career. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. If you're going to Longhorn Steakhouse, I recommend the Parmesan crusted chicken, 100%. I just go through a life change, a metamorphosis. I'm giving the Parmesan crusted chicken an 100 out of 10, but that's not possible. So I'm giving it a 10. <laughs> wow, that's gonna be my dinner too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Next up, let's try a dessert. Why not? Let's do the strawberry shortcake, okay? So it's very cute. It does not come with ice cream, but typically strawberry shortcake doesn't, so it's fine. We have some strawberry sauce here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my God. Okay, let's cut into it up close. See that texture. Oh, focus. Oh, it wasn't focused guys, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's try it. Lord. Are you kidding me? So far, this taste test is destroying me. Okay. I have to take less bites of each item because I'm gonna get too full too quickly. Pace yourself, Timmy. This strawberry shortcake is perfection. The cake itself is super light, super airy, but it still has a nice vanilla cake flavor. It is not like an angel food cake, you know? It's much more rich um, than that, and the cream is just very light, airy, barely sweet, just luscious. Oh, glorious. And the strawberry filling is less of a jam and more like a kind of strawberry paste with a bit of gelatin in it maybe. It's a little jiggly, but like in a good way. And then the sauce is just like a light strawberry flavor, burst of brightness, it's fantastic. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Wow, okay, next up, let's try the chicken wings. So these look fantastic too, from the appetizer menu. Ooh, and the ranch. That's blue cheese. That is Miss Mold right there. Ah! Oh my God, it's spilling. <laughs> ah! I have chunky blue cheese on my counter, this is not okay. Oh God. Ugh. That's a big blob. It's all chunky. Yeah, it smelled like a foot, so I know it's blue cheese. Oh my God, it's all over. Okay, we have rid the table of the moldy spirit. So I'm gonna use the ranch from the chicken tenders, okay? Or is this blue cheese too? Let's see. That's ranch. That's ranch. Oh, happy day. Okay, these are pretty big wings. Very nice size, very crispy feeling. Let's try it. Mmm. There's a texture. Okay. Mmm. The ranch is good. Good sit-down restaurant ranch. Mm -hmm. For me. They are definitely high quality wings. It tastes like pure, real meat, no gummy skin, nothing like that. They do taste good, but they taste typical. 
which is fine. If you want to be basic, be basic. That's fine. And sometimes classic works. But I did want a little something extra. They taste like any good dry seasoned wing I've ever had. You know, they don't taste special. They don't taste unique, but they definitely get the job done. They're enjoyable. And if you order them, they are chicken wings. They're good chicken wings. So there's nothing bad here. I'm just not blown away. One more bite. Mm -hmm. mm. The ranch is so creamy. Listen, I don't like mayonnaise that much, but I like mayonnaise the ranch. When ranch has like a lot of mayonnaise in it, something about it is just so, so rich. This is that. So yeah. I'm going to give the wings, I think, a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. So next up, let's try the ribs. This is a meat fest. Oh, wait. We should do a sandwich first. We should. Because we have two sandwiches. So let's do the crispy chicken sandwich right now. So we have pickles, lettuce, tomato. They put mayo, which is good. Um, onion. Oh, there's mayo on both sides. That's great. And then this huge chicken patty. But first, fries. Gotta try those, right? Let's see how they taste. Hmm. That's honestly a bit disappointing. And they are lukewarm, but listen, all the fries that I taste on this channel are lukewarm when they get here. That's just how it is. And some of them slay me. These aren't slay me. Let's try it with the ranch. <laughs> now that slays. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, to me, the fries taste pretty bland. They do have enough salt, but I feel like the oil flavor is a very bland oil, if that makes sense. Once again, there's no signature flavor. They're very basic, very typical, but more bland than your typical fry. Now with the ranch, the ranch turns them into iconic little potato gold pieces, but the ranch could do that for anything. Um, also, I feel like they almost taste like Applebee's fries, which Applebee's fries are amazing. Shockingly, because Applebee's is Applebee's. We know that, but <laughs> they almost taste like that, but with less flavor. They do taste fresh though, so that's good. But yeah, just overall bland. So I'm going to give them, I think, a five out of 10. Could be much better. So let's try this massive chicken sandwich. Guys, it was $8.99 for all this. That's not bad at all. That's crazy. But that is the lunch price, so just keep that in mind. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sorry about the flush. <laughs> Okay, the chicken filet itself is genuinely fantastic. It's ultra crispy, yet the breading isn't too thick or too rocky. It's like a light crispiness, very nice. The chicken inside tastes super juicy, fantastic. I will say, I don't think any of the toppings go with it. I feel like it would have been better with like just pickles, like a classic chicken sandwich. And I don't taste any mayo. I feel like all those watery, like veggie toppings, which I typically love, but not with this, they kind of drown it out, like the chicken flavor and the mayo flavor, and just kind of made it all taste kind of bland. When I can see that the chicken would taste so good on its own. It's just so crispy and so juicy. And it has a good flavor too. But yeah, um, overall, it's just kind of like, it's lost in the toppings, you know? So, I'm going to have to give the chicken sandwich, I think, a 6.5. It's good, not great. With the ranch, it's definitely better. So ask for a side of that if you get it. So yeah, okay. 
Next up, the ribs. For real this time. Let's eat this pig up. Is it a pig or a cow? I'm not sure. Grab a chunk. Okay. Wow, they just fall apart. That's great. We have a big chunk of rib here. Let's eat it. Mm. I love ribs so much. I just love meat. Like, I really am one of those people that's like a carnivore. If I could eat just like ribs and like chicken wings and um, like that Parmesan crusted chicken all day, every day, I could be keto, <laughs> honestly. But um, that would be a lot of fat because I like the fatty meats, you know? <laughs> and also, I have my taste test, so I can't. I haven't done any research about keto, so I have, I have no clue if it's good for you or not. I'm just rambling. Okay. Mm. There's some veins, but that's normal. Mmm. Mmm, okay. One more bite. Oh my god. They just fall apart. Amazing. Mm, I got rib on my phone. Okay. Let me pause. Let me pause. So, flavor, fantastic. They really melt in your mouth. The sauce is sweet and tangy, just a perfect barbecue sauce. They taste very seasoned. I do have one complaint though. I prefer my ribs a bit crispier and these aren't crispy at all, like whatsoever. Um, like even like the top part is kind of soft. So that's my only complaint, but that's just me like nitpicking. These taste fantastic. Amazing meat. Adore it. Oh yeah. I am gonna give Longhorn's ribs an 8.5 out of 10. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, next up let's try the mac and cheese. So this looks great. It's called Steakhouse Mac and Cheese. Let's see how it sounds when it's being mixed. Okay, I've heard juicier. <laughs> okay. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It has bacon bits. either. It tastes like real baked mac and cheese, which is good, but I, I don't love the flavor of it. It has a very strong processed bacon flavor. It doesn't taste like real fresh bacon. It tastes like bacon bits. And the bacon itself, like the pieces aren't crispy. They are very chewy. And I don't like bacon unless if it's crispy. And I love crispy bacon so much, but gooey bacon is like opposite. Like I, I don't want to eat it. I don't want it near me. It just really took over. Um, also, it could be less dry. Um, it could use a bit more sauce overall. And there is a nice cheesy sharpness in there, which I appreciate, but it can't compete with the strong gummy bacon flavor. That is just, I'm gonna give the Steakhouse Mac and Cheese, I think a five out of 10. Okay, so we've had some amazing items and some mediocre items, but nothing gross yet, so that's great. Okay, next up, let's do the two side salads, okay. I have the lids and the croutons right here. So let's make these. We have the ranch. Oh, yes. So creamy and thick. Let's 
for some croutons. Love me some croutons on a salad. It's a necessity. It's not a salad without croutons. Look it up in the dictionary. It says salad must have croutons or else this is not correct. Okay, and we have the Caesar. Oh yeah, it's thick. I love Caesar dressing so much besides the little bites of fish. I feel like real Caesar dressing has like these like bites, just certain bites that taste like fish. And then you just have to keep eating it <laughs> to make the fish flavor go away, right? So that happened to you, it happens to me. Let's close these back up. This is the only correct way to make a takeout salad. Yep. You just keep the lid, put it back on, and then shake it, like Taylor. Done. Look how perfectly coated every piece of lettuce is. Oh, it's a foolproof method, guys. Try it. But you do have to shake for a good amount of time. Like you can't just like shake it twice. That's not gonna work. And the Caesar. Okay. Let's first try the house salad. I love house salads. Let's get some of everything in the bite. Cheese, yes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh! Yes, Longhorns. They ate that. <laughs> Guys, the ranch on the salad is so perfect. It's salty, it's tangy, it has so much seasoning, it's mayonnaise -y. like I said. Amazing ranch, perfection, fantastic. The croutons, perfect. The cheese, perfect and real and salty. The tomatoes and the cucumber taste super fresh. They add that burst of like refreshing flavor. Just a perfect house salad. Perfect, 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Put that here. Now, Caesar. Oh my God. What the heck? So that's the best Caesar dressing I've ever had. I forgot to get that piece of rib off my phone. One second. Ah, it's a mess. That's the best Caesar dressing I've ever had. It's so incredibly tart and tangy. It's not fishy at all to me, like at all. Very lemony. And I can really taste like the black pepper. It's just very sharp and just like, yes. Amazing Caesar dressing. Um, the croutons taste fantastic with it. The lettuce tastes fantastic with it. Everything tastes fantastic with it because it's the best Caesar dressing I've ever had, like I said. So I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10. Longhorn Steakhouse, I think, has the best side salads in the game. Wow. Okay. Next up, let's try the chicken tenders. So we have the ranch here and we have the buffalo sauce. Ooh. Guys, this taste test has had some of the best highlights of my career and I'm kind of shaking. Okay, so let's first try by itself and then with the sauces. Okay. It's the same breading as the sandwich. So crispy, yet not heavy. Wow. Let's try it. Is this buffalo? Yes, ma'am. Mmm! Mmm! That's a 
a strong buffalo. Not spicy, just a very strong. Wow. Ooh! Very good. Now with the ranch. Mm. Now with buffalo ranch. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm. I'm glitching. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So, the breading by itself, like without the sauces, could use a bit of salt, but otherwise it's perfect. Like I said, it's super like super airy. The chicken inside is super tender. Fantastic. And it's actually perfect that it doesn't have um, enough salt because the two sauces really add that salty pow of flavor. And the buffalo sauce is very strong. It has a different flavor, almost like a slight brown sugariness to it, which really worked. I don't know, like if they put brown sugar in there, but there's something different and like warm in there. It's very nice. And of course the ranch is fantastic. So, wow. I'm giving the tenders, I think a nine out of 10. With the sauces, a 10, but by themselves, nine. I'm getting very full. We still have the burger, the mashed potatoes, the cheesecake, the taquitos, and the spicy chicken bites left. Let's try the spicy chicken bites. Wow, we're at it. Oh. Ooh, that's like an orange chicken type of sauce. It smells very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take very small bites because I am getting very full. Spicy chicken bites. Mmm. 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 Sauce. They don't need this. They have sauce on them. And the sauces taste very similar, so they don't need that. Mmm. So, mmm. First things first, I wish they were a bit spicier. When they put spicy in the title, it should really be spicy. Not like super hot, but spicy. These just have a hint of spice, but they still taste delicious. They taste like orange chicken, but not like Panda Express orange chicken, more like P.F. Chang's, like high-end orange chicken. You get me? Very nice breading. I think it's the same as the um, chicken tenders, but um, with the sauce, perfection. So good. Um, the sauce does not soak into it, so they don't get soggy. And yeah, I think it's a great appetizer or even as a main course with like rice, it would be a sleigh, a gag. So I am giving the spicy chicken bites, I think a nine out of 10. Very, very, very good, wow. Okay, so next up, let's do the mashed potatoes and the cheeseburger. Small bites. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. If I wasn't so full, I'd be eating tons of this. Oh, so nice. So they taste totally real, like freshly mashed. And they do have a very simple flavor, but it works. They taste like high quality butter and high quality cream. Just super fresh, dairy-ish, cows on the farm, you know, like that vibe. And a lot of black pepper, a lot of salt, but, but like the perfect amounts. Super fresh, super simple, and just a perfect side. I'm giving the mashed potatoes a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, guys. Okay, now it's time for the burger. So we have pickles, tomato, onion, lettuce, some, I, it looks like ranch. There's some ranch on there. Interesting. A burger patty, and I think either mayo or ranch underneath the burger too, which is great. This is it. Very thick, wow. I got medium well. It's very juicy. Look how juicy, guys. Juicy up. Yeah. Looks a little pinker than what I'm used to, but it's okay. Okay. So, I'll say that the beef tastes like amazing quality. 
and it's just super juicy, which is great. But there's not a lot of flavor happening on this burger, okay? The patty itself has no flavor, none. It just tastes like beef, good beef, but just beef, moo. And then the lettuce, tomato, all that stuff just tastes kind of just like watery toppings. And if you want to carry all those toppings, the meat has to taste powerful and strong and seasoned, you know? Um, the cheese is a very thin slice. It doesn't do a lot of heavy lifting, to be honest. Um, the bun is nice and fluffy, but overall, it's just a kind of bland burger. A fancy one, but a bland fancy one. You know, I would rather have a cheap $1 McDonald's burger because that has more flavor than this. It's just the tea. So, ooh, two items left, guys. I am giving the burger, I think, a 4.5 out of 10. Sorry. Okay. Last two items. We have these chicken taquito thingies and the cheesecake, which I'm saving for last because I'm so hyped for it. Saving some space in, in the belly for sure. <laughs> okay. So we have this sauce that goes with the taquitos. Very nice. And I first try it without the sauce and then with. Okay. It's not bad. <laughs> I don't have so many leftovers, it's actually insane. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> so, ah, my alarm, sorry. These taquitos taste like 7 Eleven taquitos. Now, I love 7 Eleven taquitos, but these taste like less good than 7-Eleven taquitos. I think the filling tastes very similar, like very similar, but the tortilla is not as good as the 7-Eleven tortilla. Their tortillas have like this like orange coating seasoning thing on them and it tastes fantastic. This is just a very bland tortilla. I will say that the filling is very cheesy. Um, it does have nice little chunks of chicken, but it just tastes processed to me. It tastes like something you could buy um, at the grocery store and not like a steakhouse appetizer, you know, but not bad. Definitely edible. Like I could enjoy these, just not at a steakhouse. So I'm going to have to give them, I think a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Okay. Last but not least, the queso cake. It's huge. It's gorgeous. I'm ready. Okay. So we have some whipped cream here. We have some caramel and some uh, pecans. Okay. And then we have the cheesecake. Let's just go into it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I'm ready. Let's try it. Okay. Hmm. That's good. But... I'm a cheesecake expert and it's not the best one. Okay. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's still cheesecake, so I'm devouring it, but. Hmm. So visually, I think it's one of the prettiest pieces of cheesecake I've seen. That's for sure. I do love the candied pecans. Very crispy, sweet, fantastic. The cheesecake itself has a great texture, like perfect texture, perfect crust. My one complaint is that it's a bit too tart. You know, cheesecakes, have to have tartness, they have to have sweetness, but it has to be a perfect balance. And this one is a little on, on the tart side and less on the sweet side, and it's not in the middle. I think that's the issue with this cheesecake. But it's still good, it's still cheesecake. I've just had a lot better and ones that just balance the flavor so much better. So I think I'm gonna give Longhorns the cheesecake a six out of 10. 
it's good not great so Overall, I had some amazing standout items in this taste test. It was iconic, like the Parmesan chicken, best thing ever. Like honestly, life-changing. I feel like a different person now. <sighs> so <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Have you had Longhorn Steakhouse? If you have, what are your thoughts? And if you don't live near one, which item looked the best to you? Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Guys, go and check them out. The link is at the top of the description. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh.